and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jund Arcanist to start the day off today. We've got a new donation deck built around Dreadhorde Arcanist in an aggressive Jund shell. Um, so I'm sure you all know what Dreadhorde Arcanist does by now, so we won't really have to explain it too much. But, you know, so we want to be able to cast instants and sorceries from our graveyard <clears throat> with CMC equal to, less than or equal to its power. So, like, the one thing that the deck has that's kind of built around is Vicious rumor, Rumors. <laughs> that was weird. So, Vicious Rumors. So, we can deal one damage to the opponent, make them discard a card, put the top card of their library into their graveyard, and we gain a life. So, obviously, like, that that by itself is uh, not really worth a card. You know, you're spending a card just to make them to discard a card for the most part. You know, it has the, the drain one and everything. But if you get to recast that with Arcanist... Uh, not so bad, you know, like you, you get Mind Rot for one mana there if you're recasting it with Arcanist. Um, you know, it's pretty cute, pretty cute. Start getting somewhere. Um, and then, of course, you know, at that point, you've dealt two damage to the opponent and gained two life as well. Um, it also has, like, some pump spells. So we got Giant Growth in here. We can pump up the Arcanist. Uh, we can do that pre-combat if we want, if we want to be able to recast, like, one of these other these other spells or of course we can just use it as um, a combat trick giant growth of course works really well with like dreadhorde butcher making this the power a lot more so like whenever it dies it does a lot more damage and then same with just trample creatures you know dreadhorde arcanist has trample spellbreaker trample questing beast trample well all right never mind that thing doesn't have trample but um <laughs> that thing's kind of unblockable you know so it's you know it can be just a, a pretty decent combat trick for us um we also got Domri's Ambush, which, of course, Domri's Ambush works really well with Arcanist, um, you know, making it a 2-4, and then then it has power of 2, so then you can recast Domri's Ambush during attack, um, attacking as well. We also have a couple other ways to pump up Dreadhorde Arcanist power with Domri and Judith, giving our creatures plus 1, so that, that can help us cast these other spells. And then, of course, Colossus, um, making our creatures larger and giving them trample. Level 99. Thank you so much for that resub there. I appreciate that. Our, oh, that's our second... Yeah, second sub of the day. I didn't update that earlier. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of what our deck's about, is you know being aggressive and combat tricks winning the day between Colossus and Giant Growth. And, of course, Domri's Ambush can grow our creatures. Rankle and Questing Beast are just too good... Uh, haste threats at the top end because you know we want to try to help finish off games and rankle with like the sacrifice creature can be really awesome with dreadhorde butcher especially if we pump up dreadhorde butcher also you know we can sacrifice it do a ton of damage with that as well so that's that's our deck no nonsense here going to be trying to be aggressive and uh win some games here with some jund arcanist no no i'm not uh growing any beer. I just didn't shave today. All right, with our donation decks, we're going to be playing a league here, seeing if we can get to five wins before two losses, see what happens. Um, so let's let's see how this goes. I don't know why the level 99, I don't know why your sub didn't show up on the, the stream. Hmm. I don't know. But well, looks like I can't, can't do anything about that. Okay, well, we have a swamp, a mountain, and a forest. Just the perfect mana base for a three-color deck. What we're going to see is, is Vicious Rumors good. This is a good test. Ooh, made them discard Frilled Mystic. Blue Eye Control, Green Tron, or Storm for Modern F and M. Um, I would say. Not, I would say, hmm, that's tough. Do you have, give, give me a little bit more. Hey, Furious Fred. 
do you want like the deck that you think will do the absolute best do you want like a deck that your opponents won't be too mad at um do you want a deck that will be the most fun give me a little bit more there what's what's the goal But thanks for your spread. I went with Spellbreaker being a 4 4 because of Nightpack Ambusher. I think being a 4 4 is pretty important. Okay. Got our first one. We get three Veil of Summer, two Ceratops. Um. I never really talked about the Once Upon a Time. I meant to do that. Once Upon a Time can help our three-color mana base. Also can find our Arcanist, or if we need like a haste thread up at the top end. Um, and also is a spell that we can recast with Arcanist as well. <laughs> Thanks, Fred. Uh, let's see. So I don't necessarily love pump spells in this matchup, because we need our creatures to resolve, which can be tough. And, and then if our creatures resolve then we're like needing pump spells to resolve also that you know like it's a little difficult there all right we're gonna take out domri we're gonna play a bedevil and a couple trophies and we're going to take out Giant Growth. Um, one Once Upon a Time. And I should probably cut one of these fours. The fours are so good, though. I got two Spellbreakers. Actually, maybe it's no, instead of Spellbreaker, I should have cut to um, to the red black card. Okay, so you're trying to go three one at least. Okay. All right, so we're trying to win. Okay, blue blue white feels the most fair. Haven't played Storm in like a, a year. It's play Tron all the time yeah I was okay so I was kind of leaning towards just saying Tron especially if you say you play Tron all the time um, I feel like that's the way to go but then again if you want something if you want something a little different then maybe throw in some OG Storm and just see what happens Duress is is okay in this matchup, but it's not necessarily really good. Their deck is mostly creatures, you know, with a few you know, they do have a few spells, but their deck is is really built around creatures. And there's a pretty high percentage chance that Duress whiffs. So I was hoping they would do. They got ambushed. Stop. All right.
All right, we're one to know. Our poor Simic Flash opponent got stuck on lands both games, but our deck was doing its thing. It looked our deck looked pretty impressive. Dreadhorde Arcanist doing its thing. Exactly what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, no, not not Blue Moon. Nah, don't, don't go Blue Moon. Go. Yeah, I would say the other three decks over Blue Moon. <laughs> yeah, I understand if you don't feel any pity for Simic Flash player. I understand. Okay. Um, so we have to kind of assume Once Upon a Time is going to grab red mana. I think we can try this. Correct. This is not the... Correct. We're playing, we're playing a league here. We're playing two donation decks through league each and then um, gonna be doing then later on when you see the schedule here then later on we're gonna be doing the competitive metagame challenge with Demir Affinity Forge we may play it a couple of times we'll kind of see how we're doing on time and everything all my spells I don't have like an exact time when we're gonna be doing that, um, but you know, after we're gonna play these two leagues first with our our donation decks, get those in, and then we'll you know, play the challenges for the rest of the night. Narset. The focus and the thoughtfulness before action. Not prepared for this. <laughs> if the color blue got deleted from magic, I would be okay. <laughs> hey, good afternoon, Rex. Okay, okay. Um. Let's go with Wrinkle. So yeah, I could could have dealt. Could have dealt a lot of damage with giant growth, attack giant growth, but you know it's not lethal. Not yet anyway. I can also just giant growth and recast once upon a time from the graveyard. I kind of like that. I could also just cast the once upon a time in my hand. Maybe we should do that. I didn't grab the Fable Passage because those cards that we just put down to the bottom are not really cards that I want to 
draw anyway. So I don't I don't really want to shuffle those back. Oh, I didn't I didn't say that. <laughs> that was somebody in in chat that said the whole blue got deleted. I, I, that wasn't me saying that. If you show remorse, I'll show the strength. Trust me, I have a plan. I want to have, you know, a two power Arcanist. And we have to get rid of the Teferi so we can play instance. Like, Teferi just shuts down Arcanist completely. Also, like, with you can't, you can't even cast spells off Arcanist with Teferi in play. All right, good luck, Matthew. Stop. I'm known for my excellent timing. Ugh, really wanted Arcanist. Nothing. Had two power to recast once upon a time. Get rid of one of those cards over there. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. So do we play the other Arcanist also? And then if they have a sweeper, we're in a lot of trouble? Probably not. Because they just cast Drawn from Dream, so I wouldn't be surprise at all for them to have you know to grab like teferi plus sweeper with that drawn from dreams i'm thinking probably sunday for the black white control deck subisak Ugh. Where are all my, my haste threats? I really need to cast that once upon a time again. Alright, well we know like our bottom like five cards are bad. Like we have a lot of so <clears throat> we have a lot of good draws still. Stand by and watch. Stop no, playing that card. I am not making this up as I go. Questing beast. Beast mode. Not beast mode. Don't worry, I got this. Hey, that's dragon. That's good news. Let us fight. That's. I Your mean, obviously the arrived. the situation isn't great there, but glad you, you know got. Uh, glad you got a new job. Came home from work. Everything like that. So yeah, Arcanist, we we don't get to cast spells because of Teferi because it's you know it's not casting sorcery speed and so Teferi shuts 
Arkin is down, unfortunately. So. <laughs> Duress. Haster, Bedevil. Now Domri, Judith. So we could have trophy for some of the planeswalkers and stuff too. I think we want to just be attacking them. And kind of trim all those spells down one. Uh, if I was in charge of the upcoming ban, ban announcement, what would I want to do? First, standard. Probably nothing. I one would have one. I, I would have just printed multiple cards in, you know, multiple, meaning at least two cards in. Throne of Eldraine that dealt with Field of the Dead. I can't believe that there's zero hate cards. You know, like you know, like Blood Sun type cards. I mean, that's what I. That's one thing that I definitely would have done. This is a great Arcanist game. <laughs> Arcanist is sweet here. Arcanist with duress is pretty awesome. My Browie, I have just the trick for this. So I'm one point away from killing them here. <laughs> All right. Giant growth prote protection from uh, Clarion. Maybe we'll another vicious rumors on the on the play, or sorry, on the draw, on the draw. Like my opponent's gonna have one less. They're gonna have like one less card in hand, being on the draw. So I think vicious rumors can do a little better. Um, Let 
Ambush is good though. Do I take out this Colossus? Maybe I do. Everything. I just, you know, Sarkin minuses makes a 4 4, and that 4 4 can really be annoying. But I like giant growth against, you know, damage based stuff like Clarion. And something Arcanist can play immediately. So I'll, I'll cut a giant growth still. <clears throat> hey, we duck. Hmm. If I just had red mana. Do we keep on the draw where we really want to draw a red source by turn two? Like, if we draw the red source, our hand is really nice. Or do we go down to six? Uh, our hand could do nothing, though, if we don't draw a red source. Oh, this is tough. I kind of feel like we need to mulligan because there's just a, a high chance that our hand does nothing. But that hand looked pretty good. Hmm. I like the cards we got here. I think I'm actually going to put Arcanus back. Because I want to just keep putting pressure on my opponent. Like, haste, haste, haste. And I want the ambush for removal. Hey, we got another Arcanist back anyway. So there we go. Worked out. I'd like you, Spellbreaker, if I had lands, but I don't have lands, so see ya. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, Matthew. Matthew, go to the the sub channel in the Discord and post it there. I know my responsibility. I know your responsibilities don't matter. Here we go. Only time will tell. So wouldn't mind another red source where maybe we can double spell with like Arcanist Ambush. Basically, if I if I just go spellbreaker here, if I if I don't, I guess we do this. I guess we're just like not really going with the Arcanus. This game. Always fetch before you scry. My opponent just scryed at the top, and now they're like, I can't fetch. 
was fetch first and then prison realm. Why not plus one damage with Wrinkle for us both draw? I don't know. I, I don't really like giving them a, an extra card. Basically. Oh my God. This isn't a fight you can win. This card's so annoying against Arcanist. Ugh. I've got time. I can't, I can't like Spellbreaker, Haste, they block, then I Giant Growth. That would be nice. But I can't do that because we can't play Instance. And just going Spellbreaker, Haste, and then also cast Giant Growth to like kill, you know, attack to fairly. That's just not worth it. I only have one red, red source. If we had, if we had two red sources, I would have just gone Arcanist and then Ambush, Kill to Fairy. That would have been the best, but we don't have two red sources, so. We will meet again. Okay. I will consume you. A dragon would rather die than lose. All right, planeswalkers are out of there. Again, it would be nice to have a more red source, but <laughs> my opponent's too scared to block. Well, that was a good turn. Arcanist is pretty sweet. Hey, Aguanaba. <laughs> All right, Dragon. Have a good nap. Yeah, we have the Summers in the sideboard. Woo! That's a... That's a... Ugh, that's right. They get to cast something else for free. I kind of forgot about that. I was like, wow, that's a... It's a tough attack. Three, four. Uh, man, I'm one point off. Oh, I can't even. I can't cast Dreadhor Butcher also, anyway. I only have one red still. I should have. Should I have gone with Dreadhorde Butcher first? So you go, go grab Chandra again. Maybe we'll finally draw Questing Beast. Questing Beast. Gross. Go back up to 20. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I was thinking I was going to be playing both of them and just realized afterwards that wasn't the case. Yeah, that, that time wipe was just awesome. You know, bouncing the Fae of Wishes back to their hand. They almost blocked at the Fae of Wishes. Wish they did. That time wipe was so clutch, getting rid of Arcanist and bouncing Fae. Oh, Go along with the fires. The I fight with a dragon's rage! <laughs> Why do I only have one red mana? Deck, why do you hate me? Why can't we have two red mana? So obviously we're killing the, the dragon. But then where am I attacking? It would be really nice to be able to play the butcher here. to them roar I am only human yeah I agree I think we gotta kill Sarkin stop having that card We need to draw some questing bees. We need like our, our most powerful card. My opponent's drawing all their good stuff. Why can't we have why do we have zero questing bees still? Come on, questing beast. I've got it. Well, discard that card. Might be a bad idea. No, they did not. They didn't have fires on turn four immediately. Uh, they had fires like turn five or six. I think I think like turn six. Yeah, that's like six. I cannot exploit. I'll protect you. I thought about getting rid of the butcher because then we would have Ceratops haste. I thought about that, honestly. But I thought it was a better chance we drew a red land than draw a Ceratops. Really? What no you Sarkin? Come to me. I have other plans. Fires My is not getting banned. Is fires will How long until fires is gone when it rotates in twenty twenty one? It will never be banned. Let's try this. Only three months left in this decade. This one out. So that's pretty true. I'll protect. 
protect you. Got time. I'd be pretty surprised if we went from here. Look to the skies. Yes, yeah, so now these are all red. So they could have they could have ticked up Sarkin first and then had like Nicol Bolas kill shifting ceratops if they wanted to. All right, well, us being stuck on two reds slowed us down just a little bit too much, and we didn't draw, like, that one powerful top-end card, you know, like a questing beast or something like that to finish off the game, unfortunately. Alright, we'll have turn one once upon a time. So then we can cast rumors. You know, maybe maybe grab Arcanist for turn two. Vicious rumors, it's fine. Ugh. Definitely better if you get to recast it with Arcanist. The the first, you know, so like basically we just made our opponent, you know, we spent a card to have our opponent mulligan. That's all we did there. But if you get to recast it again, make them like, you know, basically have it so your opponent molds to five. That can be powerful. Yeah, Shaka competed in all of them. <laughs> I've got all of our red mana out of the way. All right, so Temple doesn't let us Spellbreaker here, unfortunately. Would have been a nice Spellbreaker turn. We'll just keep the other Temple so we have Dubs Green for the Beast the following turn. Yeah, Duress is, is an option instead of Rumors. Duress doesn't always hit against the opponent, but I know our donation deck has Rumors. We're playing the Vicious Rumors. Falmire Knight's annoying. Death Touch. It's also annoying because that's a 5-5. Five five. Scry bottom. Like the vicious rumors, they did discard that forest, and then they didn't play a land last turn. Like, the Vicious Rumor is, is kind of mana-screwed my opponent after they discarded their third land, it looks like. So this Vicious Rumor is, like, secretly is being really powerful for us.
Like secretly my like very under the radar vicious rumors there, but it was quite vicious. Yeah, giant growth could be a little underrated, to be honest. I really plays this card, but it's it's strong. I mean, so I guess my opponent had three, you know, it was turn one. They had three lands in hand, and I guess they went down to two. Um, but then just have, I mean, that would be my assumption of why they discarded a land. Like, they had three originally. All right, how should we kill our opponent? Should we kill them with Giant Growth or with Colossus? How do we kill our opponent? We got to play one. Both? I don't really want to show my opponent two tricks with it being game one. Which trick would we rather show them? Probably Colossus is a better one to show them because we have a lot more giant growths. And they're probably not as surprised to see Colossus. And maybe they play around like the Colossus pumping up the toughness for two where giant growth will pump the toughness for three. Yeah, I could build a, a Vicious Rumors disinformation campaign. A blue-black deck like Fenlurker. Just make them discard all their cards. Real heavy discard deck. Thief of Sanity after they discard all their cards. Hmm. What do we want to change? I honestly don't know if we really need to change very much, if anything. This doesn't seem like a matchup where Vicious Rumors is very good, though. Um, with them being a low-curve deck. Yeah, I think we want to play, like, a Veil of Summer. Like, them... I mean, I guess they're on the play. Um, Vicious Rumors is better on the play. I'm not sure if I want to play Legion's End, Noxious Grasp, or Bedevil. Grasp. Discard Mill Deck. Yeah, of course, of course, Vicious Rumors with Scheming Symmetry, that's the, that's like your number one go-to there, but kind of like an all-discard deck. Hmm. That's got to be pretty good against... I really hate this 1-1 one, one here with Dreadhorde Butcher. That's got to be pretty good against Field of the Dead because they need a lot of cards in play. Ugh. This is really rough with Dreadhorde Butcher just making a 1-1. One, one. I guess I could have shocked and then grasped. Yeah, I should have just shocked Grasp. I should have shocked last turn. I kind of wasted this turn.
Like, of course, I want five mana. I want to be able to have Questing Beast with... I want Beast to have Veil of Summer. I can have Butcher trade with both of these 1-1s. One -ones. I messed I mess this game up by not shocking that other turn there. Good draw. Go with the 4-4 four, four with the Spellbreaker so that Ambush can make it a 5-5 five, five to take out this Lovestruck Beast. That's rough. This is rough. cycling this. We're in a rough spot. Well, I didn't. I didn't play this game the best, but we're gonna, you know, gonna be going to game three.
So I had to get rid of the flyer course because we're at five. Ugh. That creature. Hmm. Wrinkle just wrecked me there. Got wrecked by Wrinkle. I want to bring in some more removal for Rankle, instant speed, of course, with Bedevil and Trophy. It's making me sack all my creatures. Um, which means I guess we get rid of Grasp. Wrecked by Rankle. I don't really want to play the trophies, though. All right, we're not going to play trophies. I'm just taking out the Noxious Grass and playing Bedevil instead. Okay. Turn, turn two Butcher. Turn three Butcher with Veil of Summer backup. Basically, it's a good start. They have a lot of cards that could mess this up, though. You know, like they have a lot of like the just put a one-one into play kind of thing. Yeah, you can play the metagame challenge as many times as you want. It's only available for a few days. There's a couple of days, but. Hey, Jordy. I will be streaming that event later today. Hmm. Let's go. I'm glad they did not have Legion's End, I guess. Like, that, that would have been a devastating card for them to have. If they don't kill Butcher, we'll once upon a time. Oh, I guess that's why... Alright, so no questing beast this turn.
I think this is game. I don't know. This this could be game. This is going to be a lot of damage. But they yeah, this this should just be game, right? Yep, this is game. So we get to Colossus this thing, give it trample, make it seven power. Hit our opponent for a bunch. And then we can do each person oh, draws a card, loses a life, then sacks a creature. And we'll sacrifice the Dreadhorde Butcher, do eight damage. And there we go. Well, that was pretty cool. Our deck's got to, gotten to do some really cool things. Yeah, that's a nice combo. Colossus, Dreadhorde Butcher, and then Sack It. Do millions of damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not really expecting to hit seven wins with the metagame challenge. I'll be cool if we do, but I'm not really expecting it. But I just had a lot of fun with the Demir Affinity Forge deck, and so I like I want to put it to like the test with like you know some real good competition with it, and uh, you know we can learn more about the deck. I think my sideboard is still off with the deck; could use some improvements. But I don't know exact you know kind of looking. At it, I don't know exactly what I want to do, so it'll be good practice. No, I so I did that correctly. Yeah, you I got the Dreadhorde Butcher got the counter first and then sacrificed the Dreadhorde Butcher after it got the counter. Lame. Hey Darwinian, it things are going very good. Yeah. That's that's about it. Things are going really good these days. Um, I can still go butcher again. You know, like butcher is the kind of card you want to play early. Obviously, they could have another shock, but not expecting it. Well, both, both triggers go on the stack. And when you place the Wrinkle trigger on the stack, you have to choose... Like, both triggers go on the stack at the same time, and you have, you have to choose, like, what you want the Wrinkle uh, trigger to do. To do. Um, but then you can have the triggers resolve in, in the order of your choosing. And so I, I had the... Um, I'm still going to play the beast first, so that if we draw a land, we get to double spell. So I had the <clears throat> wrinkle trigger resolve last and the butcher trigger resolve first. So much, so much haste damage. Dead. Turn five. Well, turn five kill. Threw three. They had three removal spells. Still died on turn five. Giant Grow is probably going to be awesome here. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but it just seems like they're like a team or control deck. So we can take out the Domri and the Judith. And an ambush, and maybe some more ambushes, and get some ceratops in here. Maybe trophy over ambush. Oh, we'll keep that last ambush in here. Ambush real strong.
All right, good luck at work today, Matthew. Look for a two drop. Perfect. So I don't care to talk. Oh, I don't really like people talking bad about other streamers in chat. A viable mesmerizing benthid deck out there. Um, a viable, yes. I mean, mesmerizing benthid is it's kind of worse than biogenic ooze, which was another mythic like in the same set. I kind of feel like it's maybe best um, built around with like in like a neoform shell, I guess. I think that's you know is like a, a a stop on the on the ladder for a neoform shell. Yeah, I could I could do my my best to build around it. It's not a bad card. But it's not anything special compared to uh other five drops in standard. All right, so I can save one of my creatures. I think we save the butcher. Giant growth, pretty great against red removal. Now my opponent's in top deck mode. I got six power here. It's a good top deck. As far as top decks go. But can they stay alive? Nope. <laughs> Risky Biscuits, you for MTG bot, you put exclamation point mediocre benthid and it popped up with mesmerizing benthid. <laughs> MTG bot gets me. That's awesome. Yeah, Jarius, I, yeah, I'll continue to do the metagame challenge this weekend with other decks too. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to mulligan, unfortunately. I like the cards in hand. Let's get rid of a blood crypt. I was debating about like maybe going until turn 
like just putting in a, a tap land here, turn three, shocking, and be able to have giant growth to protect Arcanist from a burn spell. But red decks these days aren't really playing too many spells that do three damage on this turn. Um, there's obviously some, but they just don't have a ton. And so I thought that's a still a, a good chance that the Arcanist would survive. Yeah, yeah, I, w I would like, uh, I would like Lightning Strike reprinted also. Um, it was in Theros last time, and so yeah, Theros would be a, a good spot here for a Lightning Strike reprint. I'd be happy with that. I don't like having to shock all the time. If I want to play Judith and have Giant Growth up. We got a shock. I could go Judith with no Giant Growth. Back for 11. And just go Judith with no giant growth. I'm pretty glad we didn't shock for giant growth. My giant growth main phase and then flash it back and so then this thing is five this thing is eight so that's 13 trample attack with the judith also legion war boss goes in front of judith they go one one no actually they probably have to chump judith and then save three life yeah they'd have to chump judith and then it's not lethal. I guess they they could just chump Judith and then take the other thirteen, go to one. Am I taking lethal then? Don't have to attack with Judith, I guess, also. But it makes them chump. Doesn't really clear the board. They they can block, they can just take thirteen and just put a one one in front of Judith. They do that. That was not a good block. That block. That's that's their dead. You can't make that block. You gotta throw the 1-1 one, one just in front of Judith. Not the Spellbreaker. The Spellbreaker has Trample. 
So they that's what they try to do is just put the one one in front to go to one. But they kind of mess it up. So So I was just having four cards against red, right? Didn't we just have an Arcanist, a Spellbreaker, a Judith, and a, and a Giant Growth, and we won the game with just four cards? <laughs> Blocking and red? We don't block. We're playing red. They have a lot of cards that are not very valuable. Vicious Rumors, or isn't too valuable. I don't love Legion's End, because so much of their stuff is cheap. Like, well, sorry, not, I said that wrong. I just said the wrong thing. I don't love Legion's End because the impactful things that we want to get rid of are three mana. I don't know why I said that other sentence. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah, basically the things I, I really want to get rid of are three mana. I can I can outrace the one drops. <clears throat> no early plays, but we're on the draw. That's what our draw steps are for. We're, we'll draw early plays. That's why we have draw steps. Okay, well, those first two draw steps didn't help. Yeah, the Vicious Rumors is, is just part of the donation deck. Ugh. No two-drop creatures still? Do I need two red? I should have cut the three mana Domri. I think I'd, I'd rather have Legion's End than three mana Domri. So, if we lose this game, we go... On the play, I'll take out three mana Domri for Legion's End. I don't know, three three mana Domri can kill Spitfire. Finally. We finally found a two or three mana creature. We got to dig through what nine was that our ninth card? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then our three draw steps, seven, eight, nine. They're gonna shock Arcanist. That's fine. Still feel, still, still feel pretty good about racing one drops. We're gonna have to block that with wrinkle. We'll have to leave wrinkle back. Pretty good draw. 
above average draw. If I had, if I didn't have a shock land, rankle is kind of what we need. Because yeah, I could rankle, make them sacrifice. Uh, they sacrifice fiend, and eh, it doesn't work. All right. We'll just uh, take a card that doesn't really show anything. Cavalcade was pretty good there. All right, we'll take out. All right, maybe I'll play end instead of duress. Yeah, Legion's End would have been nice to draw. There, we still wouldn't... You know, it was still going to be rough. We would have been going down to one. Anything drawn on their side... Kills me. I'd really like to draw a Dread Horde Arcanist. Dread Horde Arcanist. Tilt. So we'll play Judith here. Kill Judith, but if they kill Judith, I get to kill one of their one ones. Of course, that would be the Scorch Spitter, the one that attacks for more damage. So I was trying to think if they want to do that or not. Ugh, that's bad. We're 
We need some more creatures. More creatures. I randomly got four wild cards from wizards and I'm afraid to use them. That's odd. Shouldn't be afraid to use those. I don't know why, you, obviously I don't know why you would get them in the first place, but you shouldn't be afraid to use them. Ain't the first time I've been knocked about. No, no. Put me back in! Yay, Arcanist. Like my Arcanist. Boo. Like the Judith. <clears throat> we need more creatures. Not looking great. Really need more creatures. Only seen two creatures this whole time. Both got coiled. Take it. It can block. Pretty good. That's really good. Cavalcade with shock. GG. All right, so three and two, not bad. Not bad. We need to be able to untap, like with Arcanist. There, start casting some more spells, kind of thing. Just ran out of gas. That third game. But alright, but good solid league here. This deck had a, a lot of, a lot of powerful things it got to do. A lot of cool synergies. A lot of haste. Damage you got to put some real pressure on opponents. Which is pretty awesome. We didn't get to do too much with like recasting rumors with Arcanist. Um, and so, you know, like the, the rumors was kind of a, a weaker card in the deck. Usually trading with like a land, but I'd have to say I was impressed with Giant Growth. 
I wasn't expecting giant growth to be as good as it was, but it, it looked good for sure. Um, so there we go. Pretty cool little deck here. Like, you know, being able to ha being able to have Arcanist recast cards, especially like Domri's Ambush, uh, that card in particular, that was that was really nice. But even you know, like even these other cards also um, is a pretty powerful effect. And then these things just hit real hard, especially whenever you have Colossus and Ambush and Giant Growth and things like that to um, up the power of these creatures. Cool little deck here. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and leave some comments, like always. Please uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, especially if you're trying it out yourself there. Um, but that's it here for Jund Arcanist, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.